So Warhammer 3 fast approaches in February, and with it comes the new minor settlement battles, as we can see here, as well as reworked sieges, which all sounds good and dandy, right? But when you think about the bigger picture of what this means for campaigns, something kind of alarming becomes apparent. And it's the same thing that kind of killed a bit of the excitement of Three Kingdoms and Troy for me, so I worry that this issue is going to be a problem in Warhammer 3 as well. So what is it, Zerk? What are you saying? What are you moaning about? Stop dilly-dallying around and tell us! Well, think about the last Warhammer 2 campaign you played, and think about land battles and siege battles. How many of each did you play? You probably played like 70% land battles, and maybe 30% sieges if that, maybe 20%. So you had lots of land battles, because minor settlement battles in Warhammer 2 are mostly land battles, unless it has walls and then it turns into a siege. Well, in Warhammer 3, if every single settlement is either a minor settlement or a siege battle, you're going to be fighting a hell of a lot of them, and probably not that many land battles, apart from when you find people outside of settlements. But I think most of the time, you're probably attacking or defending settlements of some kind. So my worry is that I'm going to be playing 80% siege or minor settlement battles and only 20% land battles. For me personally, that's a pretty big concern because I like land battles and I don't particularly like siege battles in Warhammer. Even the improved ones aren't looking that much different and these minor settlement battles, they look kind of fun, but do I want to play them for 80% of my campaign, 70%, even 60%? No, I do not. I like using the tactics and strategies of open field battle. I don't really want to play choke point simulator. And as I mentioned, this is something that's in Three Kingdoms and Troy. Both of those have minor settlement battles just like these, but without the fortifications. And I'm pretty sure it's one of the reasons I got bored of those two games pretty quick is because I was always just fighting minor settlement battles, which pretty much always just felt like the same thing over and over again. The maps never really felt that different. The experience was basically the same. You just create a choke point in front of your towers and then your towers shoot the shit out of all the enemies. Same thing every damn time. Which always felt like a real shame, especially for Troy, because Troy land battle maps are actually really decent and really fun because of the different mechanics of terrain that you can hide in and the mud that slows things down. That's all pretty fun, but rarely got to use it because I was always having to fight King Minor settlement battles. So yeah, I really hope that there's maybe something they can do with Warhammer 3 to address this. I mean, they've had two practice runs in both Three Kingdoms and Troy, and I don't know, maybe nobody's complained about it. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just the one that hates Minor settlement battles for most of my campaign. What do you reckon? How do you feel? Let me know what percentage ratio you think there should be land battles to settlement battles. For me, like I said, I think yeah, maybe 75% land, 25% sieges. Sprinkle me in a minor settlement battle or a siege every now and again, but mostly just give me the land battles so I can use my army as Sigmar intended. Because in sieges and minor settlements, you don't really get to use a lot of your units to their fullest potential or get to use them in their role. Cavalry, for example, can't really maneuver. So it's just a case of mashing all of your units into the enemy's units until one of you breaks. It's not fun. And I'm not entirely sure what the fix could be here. Obviously, if somebody's attacking your settlement and you're defending and you get the chance to sally out and fight them, you could do that. But very often you'd be giving up the advantage of being the defender. So why would you do that? And the only way to make the enemy sally out to attack you is if you kind of attack with a weak army so that they think they can win. But that's not ideal either, right? Maybe there could be a toggleable option at the start of the campaign. Maybe you could just turn off minor settlements, so it can be just like Warhammer 2, where you only play walled siege settlements. Maybe that would be a good option. But alas, I doubt it'll come, so we will probably be playing a hell of a lot of minor settlement battles. Whether that'll be fun or not remains to be seen. Maybe it will be. Maybe I'll love it. Maybe I'm chatting shit here and this'll be great. I'm not sure, but with my experience of Three Kingdoms and Troy, it's not the move to make. I do get a preview in January of Warhammer 3, so I'll get to play some then, hopefully a campaign, and we can see if this is indeed the case. Is there going to be too many minor settlement battles in Warhammer 3 campaigns? Another issue that might come into play is different factions and whether they're going to be good at minor settlements or not. I feel like Korn, for example, will be good at this kind of battle because he has a lot of forward, aggressive, smashing frontline kind of units, which will be good in these kind of choke point situations. Whereas someone like Zinch, who looks like he's going to rely on a lot of kind of hit and run tactics and maneuvering, might suffer in this kind of minor settlement battle. 
or maybe Cathay, who rely on a lot of missiles and artillery, will be somewhat hindered by the lack of being able to use those units efficiently. But I suppose that's always kind of been the case with Total War Warhammer. Some factions are better at sieges than others in Warhammer 2. It is an asymmetric game in that way, but when you have to fight so much of your campaign in these minor settlement battles, it could be much more of a problem than it is in Warhammer 2. Maybe I'll be forced to just auto-resolve more battles than I would like to and just to try and play the land battles, but that's not ideal either, and sometimes you have to play a battle because you're going to lose it otherwise. So we're kind of going to be forced into these, and I guess another concern is that if you have to play so many of these, well, they don't look like they get over quick. It looks like it's going to take you 10 or 20 minutes to play through one of these, and if you have to play a minor settlement battle every other turn, it's going to make the campaign go incredibly slowly, so it could kind of affect campaign pace. And that's extra worrying because I think a lot of people don't even finish campaigns in Warhammer 2 because they get bored of how long it takes. And if they have to fight these repetitive minor settlement battles over and over again every other turn or two, well, it's just probably going to make that boredom come a little bit sooner and they'll barely make it to turn 100 before getting bored and wanting to move on to another campaign. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried about minor settlements and the impact they will have on campaign when we're forced to play them for every single settlement because there is a lot of settlements and I think most of a campaign is attacking or defending a settlement in some way. You're usually always looking to expand, so they're going to be a big part of it. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about this. Does it worry you? Or maybe you like the look of playing so many minor settlement battles. I don't know. Let me know. Hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll let you finish watching the end of this battle. If you want to watch it, I'll turn up the volume. See you in the future. When suffer. Bring us mate. Rampage this way. Okay, they butcher. I see me. Roast you in the tribe. Cross eyes. Big dead. The more cold. Ha! 
Cavalry! Scrag, the slower up! The more calls! Crusher! Cavalry! Master of the Moonport! Chop and tear! <laughs> 